Welcome back to Harbour Unboxed. Finally, graphics card prices are coming down. They still aren't great, but compared to this time last month, they are much improved and appear as though they will continue to fall over the coming weeks and months. Not that long ago, I put together a video that I titled The Ultimate 44 Used GPU Benchmark and Price Guide, and in it there were loads of graphs chock full of pricing and performance data. The 15 minute video was a bit of an information overload for some, so here's a more to the point version. Here are the best value used options on the market right now, starting at just under $100 US, right up to just over $200 US. Uh, if you want more information about why each of these graphics cards was chosen, then please do check out the original video. I'll provide a link in the video description. Those after GTX 1050 Lite performance but don't want to pay the current $180 US asking price, the GTX 670 is the graphics card to get and it also just outpaced the GTX 760 and 960 in our tests. At roughly $100 US less, it is a great option for bargain hunters and although last week's auction price was $85 US or at least the average auction price, I did see quite a few examples go for under $60 so keep your eye out for a bargain. If you can swing it though, the GTX 770 offers around 25% more performance than the GTX 670, though the average selling price is 60% higher, so keep that in mind. So in terms of cost per frame, it is around 20% more expensive, but in situations where you jump up from 40 FPS to 50 FPS, it is very noticeable, and for $50 more, it's going to be well worth the upgrade for a lot of gamers, particularly those playing titles such as PUBG, for example. On a final note, the GTX 680 is basically the same product, but with slower memory, and it can often be had for around $20 less, so keep an eye out for those as well. The Radeon R9 280X has dropped significantly in price over the past month, and at around the same level of performance as a GTX 770, it's really equally as good a value for those after strong 1080p gaming. Uh, although it is just a rebadge 7970, the older version does usually, for whatever reason, sell for more at auction. So if you can get a 7970 cheaper, then perhaps do that, because as I said, it is the same product. but. Uh, based on what I'm seeing, you're probably best off focusing on that 280X. Uh, the 280X is the only Radeon GPU to make this list. Uh, great performers like the 290 and 290X are just simply too expensive. The GeForce GTX 970 is probably the easiest graphics card to find on the second hand market. Last month alone over 300 of them sold at auction on eBay and performance wise the 970 really is still a beast even if it does only have 3.5 gigabytes of high speed memory. In terms of performance it's on par with the previous generation GTX 780 which makes it around 15% slower than the GTX 1060 6 gigabyte but at today's prices it's at least 40% cheaper. Finally, the GTX 780 is the last pick for my top 5 best used GPUs to be on the lookout for. As I said, in terms of performance, the 780 and 970 are very similar, which makes the 970 a better option as it is newer and generally costs around the same amount and consumes less power. Still, if you can't get your hands on a GTX 970 and you're after a mid-range graphics card, then the GTX 780 is a nice alternative. Well, there you have it, my top five best used GPUs list. Again, for more information, please check out the video I titled The Ultimate 44 Used GPU Benchmark and Price Guide. If you're looking to spend under $100, there are more examples in that video. I do realize almost all of the recommendations here are for NVIDIA graphics cards, but don't for a second believe that that's because we're green team biased or anything silly like that. Facts are just facts, and right now the GeForce GPUs are cheaper because they are less attractive for cryptocurrency miners. Anyway, that is going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and if you appreciate the work we do here at Harbour Unbox, then consider supporting us on Patreon. Thanks for watching. I'm your host, Steve. See you again next time.